You're watching Old Mate's Backyard Tech. Yesterday for Midweek Wednesdays here at the Backyard Tech channel, Old Mate did another profile video on the second Super Micro 113-6. That one specifically having two quad-core, quad-thread Xeon CPUs at 2.27 gig or 2.26, whatever you want to call it. And at the moment, it has a total of 8 gig of RAM. And I said to you that I'd pick that server to become the new Proxmox hypervisor here at Backyard Tech. Well, for this video, we're going to set up Proxmox. Only the way I am going to set it up is going to drive everyone utterly mental and insane. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in, it is server setup time here at the Backyard Tech Channel for a Thursday morning and we're going to set up Proxmox on the second Super Micro 113-6. Sorry for the noise upstairs, but everyone's now out of bed. And um, now, I'm going to say this off the bat because it's got to the point now where I don't give a flying stuff anymore if you don't like the way I do my own systems here. Um, frankly, the way I'm going to set this up has absolutely no implication on what you do or how you run your equipment. If you don't like the way I'm going to do this, then don't watch the video. The Proxmox box is not critical to me in comparison to that of ESXi. So setting it up this way, if it falls over, I really don't care. It's not a critical server to me. It's nice to have a second hypervisor but it's not something I'm worried about. So the way I'm gonna set this up is RAID 1 for the Proxmox OS and RAID 0 for the VM storage, all right? I don't really give a stuff if it falls over. It's not, like, I haven't got ESXi set up like that. ESXi is set up with dual RAID 5s in it. Now, the reason it's dual RAID 5 is because I've got two channels and only four drives per SAS channel, right? So I can't do RAID 50, I can't do RAID 60. So it's RAID 5, RAID 1, or RAID 0. That's it. But with Proxmox, I'm not phased. Proxmox, to me, is like a redundant hypervisor. If ESXi fails up, I can go over to Proxmox and still be able to do what I would want to do, just without audio. So for this video, we're going to raid up the drives, or I'm going to blow away the existing raids that are there. We're going to set up Proxmox, get it all set up, get it installed, and uh, get it ready to accept uh, ISOs and VMs, theoretically speaking. We'll have to see how that goes. The last time I set it up, it was a pain, pain in the you-know-what, really, wasn't it? But there we go. Anyway, so... We'll get this all sorted out uh, today, and uh, I'll go and get some optical media. Now, the reason I've got to use optical media is, remember, with Proxmox, we need a mouse and a keyboard, all right? So I've got to use optical media because that thing's only got two um, USB ports. That's it. There's, as you've seen, there's, no, there's very little on the front of these super micro computers, so... We've got to get that sorted out. Nevertheless, let's uh, let's get the raids blown away, get it all sorted out, and get Proxmox installed. The other thing I've got to get is a network lead too. I forgot about that. Anyway, let's get into this. Alrighty. So, if my camera will focus. There we go. So we'll do new configuration. I can't really see it because the screen doesn't work properly. We'll go with yes. Manual configuration. Now, I'm going to set this up my way.
Okay, add to spam. Oh, damn it. Accept drive group. Next. So, add to span. Add to span. So you can see there we have one drive group at 271 gig and one drive group at 556 gig. Hang on a minute, something's not right here, hold on. All right, so you can see there we have two virtual drives, VD0 and VD1. Next. So there's our virtuals, except save the configuration. Yep, want to initialize them all. And we want to set that one as the boot de device. All right, so VD0 is our boot. Okay. So we have VD0 at 136 gig which will be for the OS, and VD1 at 556 gig, RAID 0, which will be where I store the VMs. Alrighty, so let me zoom out a little bit. What I'm going to do now is get an Ethernet lead so that we can get this thing on the actual network, and then I've got Proxmox on this, and we'll go and install it. So I'll go grab an Ethernet lead and I'll be back. All right, so I've got an Ethernet lead, drives in. We'll get out of this now. Exit, yes. Please reboot your system. All right, once this reboots, we'll get in and start installing Proxmox. All righty, let's install this. Could take a while, I mean this is only an old DVD rewrite, so it may take a while. But we shall see. <laughs> it's always the way, isn't it? We shall see, we shall see. Oh, I'm on the wrong Ethernet. Hang on. I've just realised that. I'm actually on the wrong Ethernet plug. Schweppes. I think that's the right one, isn't it? I can't actually tell. Oh, well. All right. Once this gets loaded, we'll come back. All righty. So let's get this going. And we will put it on RAID 1. Options. We'll go with... Uh, we'll go with XFS. ZFS. Oh no. Sorry. XFS. Because I want to use the... Um, the other drive for the storage. All right, let me get all this done and we'll be back. Okay, so what I've done here is I've set it up with its full FQDN, its IP address and everything. So we will go next. We will go We'll go install. And there we go. All right, so once that's done, uh, I'll then get it out into the cabinet. And um, I've got IPMI on this now set up, which is good. We'll get it out there, get it on the cabinet, and we'll get uh, we'll get cracking with Proxmox. Now this is 
this is the new, latest version available of Proxmox as well, so, which is really good. So, there we go. All right, well, that's all installing now. Uh, once it's done, we'll check it, make sure it's all good to go, and then we'll get it installed. Actually, no, i tell you what we'll do. It's on the network in here. What I might do is um, get it all configured here before I put it in the cabinet. That might be the better way of doing it. All right, let's go off and install, and we'll be back. All righty, all installed. Didn't actually take that long. We will reboot it, and then we'll... Uh, Go back to the desk and uh, log in. Alrighty, so everything's done. I've got two, vo three volume groups. Now, as you can see here, VM Store is the one that's actually going to run the VMs. That's the RAID Zero drive. I'm going to say this much: that server's not cr a critical server from my point of view. Okay. In comparison to ESXi, all right. So the thing with me is, it runs, all right. If I lose data on it, I don't care, all right. As you know, the whole idea behind Proxmox is it will be out of my default SSPR hypervisor, right. Whereas ESXi is my daily hypervisor. That's the one that runs OSs that I want to use, and if I like an OS. When we do an SSPR, it gets sent over to ESXi. So I don't really care if the RAID 0 drive fouls up. All right? It's no biggie. All right? I lose data on it, and I lose data on it. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm not worried. Now, I know you guys are there going, oh, you've done RAID 0. Why are you going to lose everything? I don't care. It's not like it's going to hold critical data. It's going to hold VMs that I test. If I don't like the VM and the drive falls over, the drive falls over. I don't care. So that's, that's the plan. So there we are. Done and dusted. We have our new Proxmox server. I do have the IPMI enabled on this one. Um, so I can always turn it off and turn it on remotely from here right so which is fine which is easy to do I don't have a problem with that actually it'll make life a little bit easier than having to go out to the cabinet every time I want to turn and turn off or turn on the server um, and anyway it won't stay on all the time either all right because it, it's not something I will use all the time in comparison to obviously ESXi so there we are, new uh, new old mates, new Proxmox server done. I'll get that out in the cabinet and we'll see what else crops up throughout the day. Have a good one. Cheers.